Our next topic is the tri-catch shape. The tri-catch shape captures document level errors for one or more documents that may fail during an execution. This needs to be placed before the main processing shapes in your process where you hope to capture the error. So if you want to capture mapping errors, place the tri-catch shape before the map as depicted in this example. The tri-catch shape sends documents down the tri-path to be processed. Failed documents are caught and are sent down the catch path. The try-catch shape allows failed documents to be retried. The retry count defines the maximum number of times a failed document will be retried through the main series of shapes after the try-catch shape. And this can be set anywhere from 0 to 5. The retry count option does pause between retries. Here is a chart showing the, re the, the retry schedule for the try catch shape. The logic of the try-catch allows you to design advanced logging and processing for failed documents because the original document and its properties are sent down the catch path. The try-catch shape is able to prevent process level failures in the event a document fails, allowing you to act upon it later in the process flow. It is a best practice to pair a try-catch shape with either a message shape or a notify shape to handle more detailed error reporting. Finally, you can capture the exception logged within the original path by using the message or notify shape and include it in your messaging via a parameter reference to a document property. The try-catch shape can be configured to catch process or document errors. And there are some errors that are caught regardless of the failure trigger in the try-catch properties. Connectors that log errors for specific documents when errors occur. An exception shape that has the stop single document checkbox turned on. And a map shape if it does not produce any output or generates a validation error or a connector error. There are certain errors that are not caught if the failure trigger is set to document errors. Null pointer exceptions and similar process level errors. An exception shape that has the stop single document checkbox turned off. Connectors that cause a full exception error to be thrown back to the process instead of capturing the error internally and logging it per document. The retry count will retry documents down the try path multiple times. Typically, this will be used for cloud applications where connectivity could be dropped temporarily. And the failure trigger selectively routes documents down the catch path. And this can be set to document errors or all errors. Some things to consider doing in the catch path include capturing the source record for reprocessing, marking the source record as in error, Notify a user with a targeted notification. Format a message using the try-catch error document base property. Save or archive the failing document. Use an exception shape to cause an error event once other actions have been taken. 
add a decision shape or a root shape based on type or severity. And finally, you could call a standard error handling subprocess.